first and foremost, happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the world out there today. Enjoy your day and most importantly, be safe, whatever it is you choose to do. But we're going to talk about the boogeyman, Matias versus Liam Paro yesterday in Puerto Rico, man. Shout out all my Puerto Ricans, all my Boricuas, bro. But um, it was a letdown yesterday, bro. And a lot of people are shocked. A lot of people are surprised. But let me go ahead and say, boxing, my friends, is a sweet science. Boxing is not checkers, but definitely chess, man. And Paro, from round one to round 12, went on to beat the dog shit out of Matias, no disrespect, bro. 20 wins and 20 KOs, you know, 100% KO ratio. But when you get in there with a boxer, um, you know, and a guy that knows what he's doing and a guy that's playing chess and not checkers, bro, you're going to get your ass whooped. And we've seen this a lot in boxing, man. Boxing is not only about power, but boxing is definitely strategy, bro. And boxing is definitely a sweet science of hitting and not getting hit, bro. We've seen this a lot in the history of boxing, man. A lot of punchers made millions of dollars and had success until they got into that ring with somebody that actually knows how to box, bro. You know, Matias, definitely, my friend, you know, um, you need to work on your defense because you were a punching bag in there yesterday. You need to work on your combinations and you need to learn, bro, that you need to hit and not get hit and not be a punching bag in there. And the sad part is everybody that was calling Matias the boogeyman, right? The boogeyman, the boogeyman. Everybody's afraid of Matias. Now those same people, I promise you, are turning on Matias because I've seen some comments already. I read the comments on other pages, bro. You guys are saying Matias is garbage. You guys are saying Matias is washed. You guys are saying Matias is basura, bro. God, man, boxing really, really, really is a lonely sport. I still see big fights out there for Matias, bro. I still see it. And I still think um, there's some money to be made out there for him. But if he gets into the ring with someone that has ring IQ, ring generalship, somebody that could box, somebody that could stick and move, let me tell you, my friends, I am sorry to break it to you, but the results are going to be the same just how it was yesterday against Paro, bro. I mean, I don't really see this man beating anybody that you know that has any kind of ring iq bro because he just depends on that power bro he just thinks that anybody he touches he could knock out and yesterday you touched this man bro a little bit a little bit but um you weren't able to hurt him and he was able to push back and i guess you know what your eyes can't see you can't hit but it almost felt like Paro in that ring had four eyes bro because he was hitting you with everything bro everything he wanted anytime he wanted and he went on to have a dominating victory bro and the sad part is it was in puerto rico i'm sure a lot of people were disappointed but you got to understand bro you can't you know there's only a certain amount of fights and so much you could do and you know certain amount of fights that you could win just depending on your power and i'm not trying to name drop bro I'm not trying to name drop, but we've seen this in the past, bro. We've seen this in the past. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm not trying to be disrespectful while I'm making this video. Power can get you only so far in the sport of boxing, man. Let's not get it twisted. It is a sweet science. It is an art. And yesterday, my guy Paolo put on a masterpiece. He Picassoed up Matias's face and whooped his ass from round one to round 12 dominating performance that's what i gotta say about this and for all of you that was saying matias is the boogeyman and everybody's afraid of matias please don't turn on him now don't do that bro you know don't abandon these fighters and rock with these fighters man keep that same energy bro keep that same energy it's only so much you could do just relying and depending on your power bro and we saw that yesterday um those of us that tuned in what happened in puerto rico to my guy matias bro let me know what you guys think in the comments what's next for matias bro who could he fight out there i still think um he could fight pitbull cruz i still think he could fight a guy like regis i still think maybe he could fight a guy like roley i still think that he could maybe fight a guy like tiafimo lopez but i'm gonna go ahead and say man tiafimo lopez would destroy this man um i think pitbull cruz would beat him regis and roley i don't know man I don't know. It's a it's a toss up, and Roley's another one of those those guys that depends on his power. But you know what I'm saying? I think that would be an exciting fight, man. Let me know what you guys think is next for Matias. Um, did he get exposed, or did you guys already know? You know, this man just depends on his power. 
let me know in the comments always hit that like button if you're rocking with these videos bro sub if you're not subbed we're trying to grow out here and once again happy father's day to all the fathers out there today peace and blessings we out of here till the next one